Hey, if you like my content and you want to support my channel while supporting your own channel, check out my Apex Legends thumbnail template store down below. Hey, what is going on guys? Zio Crisis here. Big surprise, this is not a scripted video. I feel like just talking to you guys, winging this pretty much, and giving you guys pretty much the five ideas I have for heirlooms. And I've always had these thoughts behind my head. Really, really cool ideas. I think in my opinion, I think they're cool. So let me know down below what you guys think. So the first one, pretty much everybody wants this. Heirloom recolors. We all want that to be able to change the heirloom colors. Because imagine Raid's kunai in like a yellow and like black design or green or blue. Pretty much anything you would want. Just like how you can change the reticle color of your optics. You know, something like that would be pretty cool. I don't think it would be something really hard to code in. Just like the reticle, you know, colors on the weapons. So I think that would be a pretty pretty nice idea so i'm gonna move on to the second one i'm not gonna stall too much on one idea so the second one would be heirloom finishers the moment i saw raids interdimensional like finisher you know that one when she hits you up in the sky and you kind of float and she just hits you left right all over the place and you and she finishes you ever since i saw that and i saw her heirloom i always said that would be a really cool finisher to have like an heirloom finisher with her kuna I imagine her like drifting left and right attacking you like different directions and doing something really cool with her kuna and finishing you off that would be sick. Imagine even Bloodhound with his axe or any legend with their earlings have a very unique and special animation for each and every legend in the game and maybe the way they could implement that maybe if you have your heirloom have your heirlooms out you could activate the finisher with your heirloom and if you have your weapon out you do a regular finisher just to, just to kind of make it a lot more easier and not so complex I think that would be a, a, a really good idea that'd be awesome and at the same time it would kind of put you up for risk so if you have your heirloom out and you get shot out of it you're gonna have your heirloom out not your weapon so that's a risk right there you know then you have your gun out you get shot and you could retaliate and react a lot faster so i feel like that would be a better a better solution to kind of balance it out so i think that would be that would be pretty cool man that would be awesome just having flipping heirloom finishers well like that that's that's sick i, I would really love that but yeah, I'm going to move on to the next one. That's really simple. Being able to alternate your heirlooms from different hands, left or right, that's pretty much it. Because there's some people who are left-handed, some who are right. And sometimes you feel better kind of seeing it on the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen. So that would just be better for people. It's a, such a small thing. But at the same time, it would take animation work. You know, that would take a lot of animation work. Just to, it's small animation work. But it would be a, a really just fun implementation to the game. I feel like that would be pretty awesome. So that's pretty much it. The four one would actually be this one. I had an idea for it. it. I don't know how it would. I think it can work, but at the same time, it'd be kind of spammy. But I, I don't know. Maybe there could be a cooldown on it. But I was thinking maybe they could um, implement you being able to throw your heirloom at the enemy. But here's the kicker: like if you throw the heirloom, you're able, able to hit them. It would do like a max total damage of like 100, maybe 80. But they would have to somehow make this a lot more balanced like when you do that the action would have to be very precise precise and slow it, you cannot be able to do it fast because that'd be kind of op make it precise and slow and not so easy to pull off so it, it will make it like very high risk but very high reward in addition to that your heirloom your heirloom will probably be stuck into the wall or on the floor if you miss and you would have to retrieve it you can't use it after that and maybe you have like a cooldown in between when you can do that but that would be pretty awesome. Imagine like Bloodhound like throwing his axe at you. And if he hits you, does like a ton of damage or even Raid doing like a really cool Ninja Naruto type of like throw with her, with her kunai. <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. I, I would really love that. That'd be awesome, man. Like, I think that'd be a good idea. But but like I said, somehow balance it, balance it out. Slow it down. Make it a lot more precise. I don't know. Slim down the the hitboxes when they activate that it'd be so much coding i make it seem so easy but obviously it's going to be a lot of work but that would be pretty cool just add more variety to the game and stuff that'd be really awesome let me know you guys thoughts down below and the last one it's pretty much going back to heirloom finishers but here's the kicker it's going to be a combinational team heirloom finisher so imagine that everyone has their heirlooms equipped and you want to finish the same guy but i don't know how they would implement this but i would take so much coding but that would be awesome like imagine you not let's say for example the last team you knock everybody the last guy has like a goal knockdown, down and you want to finish the last guy in style everyone could do like a combinational finisher heirloom finisher attack if everyone has an heirloom and if someone doesn't have an heirloom they would add like a different animation into the mix so imagine like a fighting game like Marvel vs. Capcom, you do like a combinational attack, like something really anime or something really, really, really cool. Like imagine 
maybe octane with his butterfly knife does like a really quick motion stabbing the person up and kicking him into the air and then maybe Raid teleports behind him hits him down and lifeline does her shock stick and hit her hit him in the face it's something really good you get the idea what i'm talking about guys you get what i'm saying pretty much it's combination of heirloom attacks let's make it really flashy really cool but then again high risk if you want to pull it off but it's just to show off and just show your dominance with your team or with your teamwork that that to me that would be absolutely awesome i would love that but then again it's a lot more easier said than done it's a lot of work but i would absolutely love that but yeah guys that's pretty much it i don't want to make this video super long but let me know your thoughts down below i'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say because i think these ideas are awesome honestly some of them are obvious but i feel like some of them are really awesome but all right guys comment down below take it easy take it easy